Here we go again, another Minecraft Hardcore 100 Adventure. Mm. Yep, the premise is simple. We're gonna try to survive 100 days in Hardcore Minecraft. Maybe that pig can help us, help us get to 100 days. Uh, in the last attempt, we failed to reach 100 days. In fact, what did we die? Around day 50 or so, maybe about halfway. On the way to fight the end dragon, we ran into some piglins in the nether and we were not prepared uh, we didn't have any gold armor on so they got the better of us and we failed to survive 100 days but not this time nope we're going all the way to day 100 uh let's get started uh so we have a bit of a jungle here uh that's very similar to last time there's also quite a bit of ocean so i'm hoping i'm hoping for shipwreck and buried treasure just like last time, that's going to be a good way to get started. It seems like we have ocean on both sides of us. Um, let's see, what's this down here? Nothing. I need to make my way over to a tree. And this one over here seems like it will be the one for me. Is this an oak tree? Yes, it is an oak. We have a bit of a jungle edge biome over here. So some of the trees are jungle wood and... Some of the others are oak, like this one here. Even though it's covered with vines and we're not in a swamp. It's because it's a jungle edge. Actually, is this a jungle edge? Let's confirm. Uh, it's called Sparse Jungle. This biome is called Sparse Jungle. Uh, which is a name of a biome I've never heard of. <laughs> Maybe you have. Uh, another change from this attempt... Um, from the last time is that we're playing on an updated uh, Minecraft version. I need some stone. Where can I dig in to get some stone? Let's just try right here. So we're on Minecraft Java version 1.20.2 now. And they've changed a couple things, it seems, uh, from, when, from when we were playing on point one last. So one thing they changed has to do with villager trading. Uh, I'm not sure how that will affect us, if at all, but I'm interested in seeing... Um, how those changes affect the gameplay for this challenge. What is this? Uh, I just broke into a bit of a ravine here. There is some coal here, so maybe we'll gather some of that. But uh, but the first thing I want to do is upgrade my pickaxe. And do I have enough stone? I do to make an axe as well in case we run into some bad guys. All right, let's get back down in here and collect a bit more stone. I'm going to want a furnace, and can we just get here? I'll, I'll use some of this stone to get uh, a little bit lower here. There we go. I want to get down into the ravine and see how much uh, resources we have access to down here. Um, besides coal, I was hoping for a bit of iron. Maybe we can find some in the ravine here. Um, we also need, well, so many resources, but uh, especially a bed and a bit of food to get us through our first night would be nice. I haven't seen any structures around yet, but like I said, I'm hoping that a uh, shipwreck that leads to buried treasure will be the way. Here, let's grab just a couple more bits of stone here, and then uh, we'll go back up and get our crafting table. Let's make two furnaces. And we'll just keep the rest of the stone for later. I need wood. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I need wood. I definitely do, especially if I want to make a boat. There's another oak tree up here. Let's grab it now that we have a stone axe. It should go a little faster. I want to make a boat and then look for some sheep so that we can make a bed. But one thing at a time, I suppose. All right, there's the coal down there. I guess the best way in is really just to go down here. I hear the zombie. I'm not sure where that is. Perhaps there's a cave uh, connected to this ravine. Uh, okay, I want to get up here and grab this coal. Uh, there's going to be gravel coming down, so let's watch for that. And uh, maybe we can even get a flint out of it. No, not this time. Um, I may need to just stack up. Uh, maybe we can use the gravel to do that. Hey, we got a flint. Very good. 
Let me go up one more here. And uh, all right, we'll go. We'll go this way now. So kind of sideways. Uh, we'll spiral around to the coal, but eventually we'll get up there. I could just stack up, but really I just need the blocks anyway, so I don't mind to do this. Uh, let's see. And then if I come out this way, I should come up right under the coal. Perfect. Uh, hopefully I can collect this entire coal vein. And then we'll be on our way. I just still haven't seen any iron. Now, this is a large vein, so it's just going to take me a minute to mine it. Be patient, please. Uh, so, let's see. What's one of the uh, one of the other changes I wanted to talk about in the new Minecraft update is uh, to diamonds. Allegedly, diamonds are easier to get now. Uh, so I was thinking. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I didn't want to do that um, fall down like that, but I took a bit of fall damage early. Uh, we'll have to recover from that soon. Maybe I should crouch when I'm near the edge. That's smart. All right, I've almost got all the coal here, and then we can move on. Um, yeah, diamond mining probably won't be for a couple episodes. I will wait until we're a few days in before we attempt to do some caving. I want to see what resources we can get on the surface first. Uh, let's see. There should be a way out over here. Yeah, there's definitely a cave somewhere back here. Um, maybe not exposed, but underneath this area. Um, I don't think... Yeah, I'm not going to check it out right now. Because I don't want to encounter any mobs that I'm not prepared to fight. Are there saplings here? I'll take saplings. Uh, okay, there's more coal, I see. I'm really just looking for iron at the moment. And I don't see any in this ravine. It looks like it's all copper. Um, so let's go get a little bit more tree. Oh, I have, a, I have enough tree to make a boat. So we could just go explore the ocean. See, let's craft a boat real quick. And I there's not really anything else I can craft at the moment. So let's go see if we can find some food and maybe a bed. Or both. Um, the best way to do that is probably just head on. Okay, yeah, we got a we got quite a few sheep here. Um, hopefully we can get enough of similar color. Okay, there. We'll just go over to where there's all the white ones. The white wool sheep will definitely be enough to give us a, a three wool we need to craft a bed. And then we can dye it whatever color we want. Um, that's three. Let's go ahead and stop there. Um, I don't need any more mutton, really. Uh, although I did just run out of sprint. So I'm just going to... Oh, no, I'm not out of sprint yet. But I will be soon. Uh, that's an impressive looking cave. Uh, let's set a couple of furnace down over here, and we'll throw some mutton in there. And let's go ahead and put our crafting table crafting table down. <laughs> um, I want to make a bed, so we're going to need that wool back. There we go. Recovered, and we have enough wood for a bed. Perfect. Perfect mine crafting. Uh, while that's cooking, let's grab just a couple melons. That'll tide us over for a couple minutes here. It looks like the sun is setting, so we crafted a bed just in time. I see that there's a bit of a fire over there. That's probably a lava pool. Um, yeah, melon. We're eating melon. Actually, let's not eat melon anymore now that we have the mutton. Um, it looks like I'm going to need another stone pickaxe. So let's get that going. And I'm going to get the bed ready because it's time to sleep. And that's going to be our first day on the way to 100 in hardcore Minecraft. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's hop in our boat now. Now that it's a new day, let's go and check out this fire over here. 
Uh, yep, it's a lava pool. Confirmed. And I've seen one of those before, so we're going to continue right past it. Unless we need a way to get to the nether later. And we happen to be in the area. And then uh, we'll worry about uh, that lava pool then. Uh, it's nice to have a surface lava pool close to spawn, though. Um, I don't even care if it burns all those trees down. All right, let's... Um, I just grabbed three sugar cane. And I wouldn't mind getting a little more, but I just saw that shipwreck out there. Um, out in the ocean. So I'm going to rush over and see if we can get some iron. There's also a bit of a ocean ruins over there. Uh, that's all I see for the moment. No other structures around, but it's a good start. This shipwreck appears to be a full ship. Oh, there's an ocean monument, I think, just over on the right there. So we got to try to stay away from that structure until we're ready, that is. We might explore one later, but I'm not ready for that yet. This shipwreck's um, a little bit deeper than I would like. Um, that's going to make it slightly more challenging to not take damage, but we do have food. And so let's go see what we can loot here. I think we'll start with the uh, treasure map because we can breathe in the door here. Okay, there's a book. So maybe we don't need the sugar cane after all. Um, I'll take the paper as well, but the feathers can stay. Uh, let's check this chest up in the front here. Um, we've got a, a bit of armor. Not, not the best armor, but I think I will take it. Um, and some of these other resources as well. Okay, let's, let's wear the trousers, even though they're only leather with Prod Prot 1. It's still better than what we have at the moment. Uh, we also have a mending cap, which uh, is not particularly valuable. Um, but we did get some coast armor trim. That's kind of cool. Um, all right, let's go up and see if we can loot this, um, this other treasure chest through here. And it looks like um, we're not going to be able to do that. So let's go back down to the door. Uh, yeah, the, the room with the the loot chest is um, full of, uh, I don't know what it was, sand or gravel or something. So we're going to grab this door and we're going to come up here and we're going to, can I place this in? Okay, there we go. Let's hop down in this door here. And now we can remove some of this sand and gravel uh, until we can access the treasure chest. Let's see, that's sand. I'm looking for the chest. I don't see it yet. Let's see, is it usually... I don't know how far back it usually is. We might need to move the door. Plus, it's hard to see in here, uh, so I'm having a hard time with that. Let's see... Okay, I think I see the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm able to access it. Uh, ooh, more armor trim. That's nice. I think I'll take all of this stuff. And here, actually, give me my door back as well. We'll keep that for now. It could come in handy in the future. All right. So now that we've looted this um, shipwreck, let's go ahead and see where the loot is. The buried treasure is not far. We have to go north and east, northeast. So let's go ahead and check our coordinates and see which way that is. Okay, this is east, and we need to go northeast, so this way. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, we're loading the map now, so I don't think it's going to be too far away. Um, but let's go over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're loading the map. We definitely want to head over to the land here. Uh, is this, this is not the jungle where we came from, is it? Where, where, where was that? Is it behind me? Are we just going back? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, this, this is where we started. <laughs> I got kind of turned around there, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is definitely where we got started. Okay, um, I just need to turn a little bit to the right here, and then pretty much straight on ahead by this sugar cane. Um, we can also try to loot those um, those other structures there. Okay, we're we're pretty much right on top of the treasure. Let's bring up our coordinates so we can check and see uh, exactly which block we want to mine. It looks like it's going to be. Uh, am I on? Am I on it? I oh, know six. Wait, which one? I'm having a hard time reading the coordinates here. Okay, I'm on top of it right now. This one. 
This is where we want to go down to find the treasure chest, and we found it! So we can get rid of the coordinates there, the, that uh, F3 screen. And we got our first two diamonds. That's fantastic. I think I will take the heart of the sea. Um, and I definitely want all this iron. In fact, we should do something with it. Uh, let's take the food as well. I'm going to leave the gold nuggets, however. I'm going to leave the TNT and the water breathing potion. Uh, let's get rid of some of this other stuff as well. Uh, let's leave the sugar cane and some of this other stuff I don't need anymore. We have a book, so I'm not too bothered to hold on to this paper anymore. Um, all right, we've cleared our inventory sufficiently here. Uh, why don't we check out some of these drown structures? Um, but first, just in case there are drown over there, let's make some armor. Uh, we can afford quite a bit of iron tools as well. So let's upgrade to a pick. I'll take an axe. Uh, what else can we do? We can do um, flint and steel now, uh, which I will need for later. Uh, okay, let's get a bucket going. That's nice to have. And, oh, I wanted to turn these nuggies into ingots. Uh, one ingot. And then we can still afford more armor. Why don't we do trousers and boots? And, uh, yeah, let's make the flint and steel as well. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, I can't wear the trousers, but we should. Uh, okay. So that's much better. We just got a huge iron upgrade. Uh, why don't we check out some of the ruined structures over here and see if there's anything valuable in the chest. Uh, this one has a chest. It has nothing in it. <laughs> I mean, it had a buried treasure map, but I think I know where that's going to lead us. Uh, there's some pig, pigs here, but we'll get to them in a minute. Let's first check this chest here for wheat. Um, and I will take the mending fishing rod. I'm not too bothered about the axes at the moment. Um, here, let's take a break from that for just a second to gather and cook a little bit more food. Hey, there's our, um, that's the, um, lava pool that, uh, that we saw earlier. We ended up coming back over here after all. All right, I just want to collect a bit of food here, and then, uh, why don't we get it smelting while we loot some of these other structures. The ones out in the water could have drowned. Um, so you know what we should make real quick is a, uh, shield. In case there's a trident boy out there, I don't want any trouble now. All right, let's get, uh, looks like I need to make some torches as well, which I should be able to afford. Here, let's make a bunch of sticks. Uh, we'll make, uh, how many torches can we make? Let's make this many torches for now. And let's go ahead and eat some fish. And we'll put a furnace down and start smelting some of this pork. Uh, I think I think just one piece of coal will be enough fuel there. And I wanted to make a shield. Do we have enough wood left for a shield? We do not, but there is a tree right here, so we're going to be okay. Also, there's a pig up here that I missed, and he is about to become lunch. There we go. Uh, back to the furnace. Um, collect a little bit of wood first. There we go. Maybe we should just get a lot of wood while we're here. All right, that's a decent amount. Um, I would like more, but I don't want to spend too much time here. I want to move on. I want to explore this world. Uh, where did I put my furnace up here? Uh, we have some more food to add and really just one. Uh, that's fine. Let's turn these logs into planks and make a shield. Ah, that feels much better to have a shield in my offhand. Um, okay, the food is still cooking. Let's grab up this furnace. And now there might not be enough fuel left in here, so I'm just gonna add a coal. And uh, let's go see if we can get uh, another chest out here under one of these structures. This is, this is one that's kind of buried. Uh, let's see if we can find one. Oh, pufferfish, where? I hear it. Uh, I don't... Do I still have my door on me? I don't know what I did with my door. 
is the sun really setting already? That day went by so fast. Um, okay, there's my door. Um, okay, I'm going to need to sleep soon, but why don't we uh, drop this door in real quick and see if we can grab some loot before sunset. Uh, let's see, where would I need to dig for this? Uh, let's just place the door first, and then we'll have a look around. Oh, I just broke a suspicious gravel, or suspicious sand, suspicious sand. Uh, lure one, I guess I'll take the wheat. The rest is kind of garbage. Here, give me my door back. That was very useful to have that door. And now it's time to sleep once again. Uh, let's just sleep right here. So that should be day two in the books. Um, let's see, I want to take this bed and check. Yep, we're on day two, or we've completed day two, I should say. Uh, let's go see if we can get some more loot from here. There's a drown right there, but I don't see a trident, so we should be okay. Oh, I hit him with the pickaxe instead of the axe, which I didn't want to do. And now I can't seem to hit him at all. <laughs> there we go. What do you have? Nothing? I see you over here. Thank you for not having a trident. Hey, they keep dropping copper. I didn't even know I needed copper. Uh, we'll hold on to it for as long as we can, the copper that is. Um, there's another piece of suspicious, whatchamacallit. Um, do I still have feathers? Maybe I should go, maybe I should go see if we can get some loot from these structures. Uh, there's a little baby guy right here though. I gotta take care of first. Um, there were feathers. Oh, I left the feathers at the shipwreck. Okay, I think I saw chickens over here. Let's see. They should be just up on the shore here. The chickens I saw. Ah, yes, there are chickens up here. Um, so we could probably just grab a feather real quick. And try to make one of those brushes. Um, let's see. Can you give me a feather? Yes, thank you. And then we go to our crafting table. Uh, our our food should be done cooking by now. Let's pick up our furnace. And place down the crafting table. I think it's a feather and a stick. Uh, some, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, <laughs> hey, there we go. We got a brush. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I crafted a brush, but I still know how to do it. Uh, let's go back down here. Oh, I hear a drown somewhere. As long as there's no trident, we should be okay. I left my door here, so let's go in and this is the suspicious sand. Let's give it a brush and see what we can get here. Looks like a bit of wheat. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was not the greatest, but fine. Uh, let's get rid of this is not suspicious and uh, there should be a chest somewhere. There it is. There's the chest. Um, I will take the wheat. I'll take the coal. I do not need the treasure map. Uh, let's leave some other things behind here as well that we no longer need. That'll do. And is there any other suspicious sands here? I think there's. I think I see one out here that should be pretty easy to collect. Uh, is that one? No. Next to it? I thought I saw one of these was suspicious, but maybe... Oh, right here. This is the one I saw. I see it now. And it looks like a gold nugget. Yeah, yeah, that was a gold nugget. Uh, let's actually leave that behind. <laughs> I'm going to go over here and pick up this uh, piece of copper. And then we'll have one last look and see if there's any more easy to get... Um, Suspicious Sands. I think not that one. Oh, this one out here, perhaps? What is that coming up? Okay, another piece of wheat. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't want to stay here too long. Uh, so let's take our door and move over to one of these other structures. Oh, I see you out here, Mr. Drown. Um, yeah, let's check one of these other ones that we've already looted and see if there was some suspicious sand I missed. 
Uh, actually, what biome are we in? This is a lukewarm ocean, so I don't think we can find a sniffer egg here. Uh, let's take a look and see if there's any suspicious... Yes, there are some suspicious guys over here. Let's um, drop our door in real quick. We're going to need it to breathe, and then we can um, give these a brush real quick. I don't know if this is worth it, but, I mean, we've got 100 days to go, so uh, I think we might as well have a bit of fun. And what's this going to be? A piece of coal! Uh, any more suspicious sands around? Don't see any. No, I don't see any. Uh, we could dig around, of course. Oh, what was that? Did I just break something? It sounded like I broke a suspicious sand. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, maybe we did... Oh, this looks like suspicious gravel? No, 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 that's just regular gravel. <laughs> All right, um, could there be suspicious sand perhaps um, up on the structures that are out of the water? Because those would be really easy um, to, uh, to to dig. To Okay, we got some over here that we can do. Let's give these a brush right here. Oh, is this going to be a pottery shard? I think it's our first pottery shard. Uh, yes, I believe that was a pottery shard. There's also a chest here that I haven't looted, so I'll grab that in just a second. Hey, there's a second pottery shard. Um, I'm going to run out of inventory space if I keep all these pottery shards. Uh, okay, we've got more wheat. I'll take the coal. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we just leave the pottery shards here for now, just so that I have the inventory space later. Um, but that was fun to do a little bit of archaeology. All right, um, let's just check these structures up here and then I think I need to end the episode, otherwise it's gonna be too long. Um, but this was a good, a good start, a fresh start to surviving 100 days. Um, if we can get there, here, watch out. Is there any suspicious guys? There are. Let's give them a brush. Oh, another gold nuggie, it looks like it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that behind. Any more here? I see one over here. Looks like another piece of wheat. It is a piece of wheat. There's one down here. And that looks like a piece of coal. Yep, I believe it was coal. Oh, this one has a lot of suspicious sand. We got our first emerald. Hey. And I think I see another one next to it. And it looks like uh, this one has a pottery shard in. I'm pretty sure that's what we just got. Um, I'm gonna leave that behind, the angler pottery shard. Any more? Uh, I'm not gonna dig around too much for them, but if I see them, I will give them a little brushing. Yeah, I think that's it for over here. That's not one. Let's go up to this structure and see if we left any, left any behind. Here we go, uh, another piece of wheat. And we got one over here. I'm hoping for a diamond so we can make a pickaxe. Uh, what was that? A wooden hoe. <laughs> Fantastic. And are there any more here that I can brush? I don't see any. I don't see any more. Oh, right here. This is going to be the last one, though. Another piece of coal, I think. So no diamonds this time. Uh, there's nothing down here, right? No, I don't see any more sands to brush. Uh, okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Hardcore 100. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It looks like the sun is setting, so that's going to be our third day. Uh, actually, maybe we'll sleep to end the episode. Can I sleep like this? Uh, oh, it's not time yet, <laughs> and I got to go. So I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.